Greetings, my fellow YouTube nurses. Welcome to the new medically affiliated channel. So, here's the question I got of the day. What is a registered nurse and what do they do on the medical surgical floor? Let's talk about it, alright? So, picture this, alright? You guys picture this, bam. You got four different patients, maybe four to six. One who has CHF, dementia, and also lower left extremity fracture. Second patient may have um, pneumonia, who is diabetic, neuropathy. Third patient could have um, a seizure, um, a history of seizures, I'm sorry, and also lower back surgery. Your fourth patient could have abdominal surgery, um, also maybe had a colonostomy, and all these different things. So you have a lot of different variety of patients, which is awesome, but it's tricky because you're going to be getting into a field where it's going to be a lot of different um, patient care that you're going to have to give. So your scope of practice is going to be wide. You're going to learn on how to time manage these patients. You're going to learn and utilize your critical thinking skills. You're also going to learn how to uh, be very assertive, delicate for the patient if any changes have occur. Uh, you're going to be calling the doctor a lot. And in this type of medical surgical nurse, let me just give you a typical day, all right? So let's start off to the nitty gritty. It's two, no, I'm sorry, three 12 hour shifts. You get there at 6.30 in the morning, so it's 7 to 7, you're going to get shift report. Once you get shift report about the patients, you're going to basically write down what's important and you're going to check the labs, the diagnostics, uh, you're going to check for the new orders and right after this, you're going to get the medications, uh, you may even get new orders for new IV meds, so you want to make sure you follow everything on the doctor's order. You may even have to call the doctor for a change of condition. So when you start with an assessment with the first patient, uh, you're going to start head to toe. I always recommend head to toe, don't start backwards, left or right. You want to start from the top or work the way to the bottom because you want to alert, you want to see if they're alert oriented, if they're calm, calm, cooperative, and you also want to check, you know, the perla, the ears, the mouth, if it's symmetrical, work your way down, listen to the arteries, uh, the veins, you want to make sure the, the pulse is there, cardio, uh, you want to listen to the pulmonary, you want to listen to the abdominal sounds, and work your way down. So you check the scan integrity, skins, hair, abrasions, you're looking for the range of motion, any changes. Now, you might even have to call the doctor in the morning and let him know what's going on with the patient if a change of a condition occurs. So you're doing the change, or you're doing the assessments while you're giving meds, and then you also want to verify with the type of medications. So this gets really tricky, guys. So you want to check the medications, if there's any synergic effects, contraindications, you want to make sure the right rat, right dose, right time, right placement, everything. So it's not just passing meds, taking care of a patient. This is where it gets really tricky as a surgical nurse because you're trying to get these patients in and out. And not just in and out real quick, you want to get them in and out with a plan of care. You want to make sure that they're ready to go and that they're uh, healing. So that's part of the beginning of the morning of the whole um, uh, um, practice you're doing and so you get you know time goes by you start doing some charting and remember you're in the room full of nurses CNAs uh, social workers doctors um, respiratory therapists x-ray technicians so you got a room full of people there so it's gonna get really really busy and hectic so what you want to do at that time take your break come back and then you know and you might also have orders to do a wound dressing change um, you might have orders to do a catheter change full catheter change uh, you're gonna do a lot a lot of technical skills you're gonna learn a lot of from the variety of patients so this is where it becomes very very important to utilize your time management because sometimes you might be behind on on your charting and your, your report that you give so the day will go by fast. I don't know why I did it like that, but they go really, really quick. So you want to make sure that you finish everything. You don't want to leave anything behind. And then I swear to go by so quick, by the next 12 hours, your next shift nurse will come on and you give report. So there's a lot of stuff that I left out, guys, but that's the basics of what to expect in the medical surgical floor as a nurse. So um, let me know, guys, in your own description. What is the hardest, craziest, most memorable thing that happened in your life as a nursing student, as a nurse? Um, uh, yeah, so all of my future prospect nurses or in the student program, nursing program, leave a comment. Drop it right here. I want to know in your own words. I'm curious what's the craziest thing that's ever happened. And also, guys, um, I want to put down a link on this. This is awesome for many of my future nursing prospect students out there. 
Um, this is what the job summary is. I'm going to put the link down here. It tells you what a job summary is for the nurse and also explains the qualifications that's needed for it and also the responsibilities. What are you going to deal with? What are you going to come up with? So you kind of know what you're getting yourself into, you guys. So it's awesome. The link. Don't forget to hit that. Hit the uh, uh, subscribe button. Yeah, I think it's right here. And don't forget to leave a comment in your own words. What's the craziest, most memorable, memorable thing that's happened with you guys in the nursing field? And uh, I just want to say, my fellow YouTube nursing subscribers, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I'm going to be hitting up with more uh, videos with my nursing experiences over here at the hospital. And I want to say thank you guys. So uh, salutations. And I will talk to you guys later, my fellow YouTube nurses. All right.